Greetings, everyone. I'm trusting that everybody's having a blessed afternoon or evening. And um, I just want to share something that's been on my heart. I'm, like I said to you before, I'm not up here to preach, teach, be anybody's leader or anything like that. But this is something that's been weighing on me in my own life. And I'm a firm believer that when you go through something, when you overcome it, it's always a blessing to encourage someone else. At the moment, I'm still going through it. A lot of us in life, we don't like to turn things loose or let things go, especially things that we grow an attachment to. Humanity has a crazy ability, it seems, to just attach to people, uh, addictions, sceneries, places, uh, carnal things. Just in general, we really attach to things. And sometimes we're so attached to, we will disobey God and hold on to it. Or we'll disobey our health <laughs> and hold on to it. We'll disobey our mental health. And we'll just continue to hold on to things that we no longer need. Some things are just a season. And I feel like a lot of us, we tend to don't want to hear that about seasons. But seasons change. Everything changes. Everything in life changes. You know, sometimes God gives us things that are permanent. And then sometimes God gives us things that are, you know, sometimes just temporarily. But a lot of us, we don't want to let things go. Because we're leaning to our own understanding. God may be looking out for us in one way, that, but we can't see it at the time because we're looking at it through our natural eyes. But Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 tells us, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. And verse 6 says, In all thy ways acknowledge him and he, and he shall direct thy paths. And in here on verse 7 it says, Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. But that can also, in my opinion, I, I feel that that can help us in today's problems. Because we tend to just hold on to things that we don't need. And a lot of these things that we're holding on to, it could be detrimental to our health. It could be detrimental to our mental health. It can stagnate us. It can block our blessings. People hold on to hate. They hold on to, to, to their hurts. They don't trust anybody anymore. And then God could be sending people to you or sending situations to you where it can turn things around for you. But because you're blocked off and caged off from the world, now you can't get help. Or you may be in some toxic relationship that you don't need to be into. And God could be sending you your husband or your wife. But because you want to hold on to that toxic, to that toxic relationship, because it's pleasuring you for, the, for a few seconds, you don't want to look at what God is trying to give you for a lifetime. So... I thought I'd just share that with you. You know, don't hold on to things that you know that you don't need. And a lot of us, we say, I'm going to pray on this and pray on that. But a lot of us already know a lot of the time what we should be into, what we shouldn't be into, who we should, who, who we should be holding on to, and who we shouldn't be holding on to. But a lot of the times we're in denial because it's not what we want. So we lean to our own understanding. God's path is the best path for us. He can see ahead of us. He sees things that we don't. The situations that could be avoided. A lot of situations could have been avoided in all of our lives if we had to listen in the past. But hey, you know, mistakes are made. Sometimes it's good to make mistakes. Sometimes I believe God allows us to make these mistakes so that we can gather this wisdom now. But I'm um, just learning that, you know, that seasons change. And I'm, I'm a very emotional person, so I get attached to things pretty quickly. And I, do, I tend to not want to let certain things go or let certain people go, but sometimes you have to. New seasons and new things, you know, sometimes that's what's best for us. God bless you. God love you. Peace, love, honor, and glory goes all to the Lord. Thank you. Shalom.